where believers are thoroughly trained and thoroughly mentored but they are not connected to purpose let me tell you there is a danger for any assembly when you keep pumping anointing in people revelation revelation and the people don't know what to do with it the body of christ is in trouble for this one is why many many men of god keep having headache when you get young people a young man a young lady you are teaching them about finances teaching them about prayer and fasting do you not know that knowledge has an implication the goal of all that investment is that there must be an opportunity for them to deploy by the time a man is fasting 100 days yet there is nothing for him to do in church are we together praying the kind of power that guy has one day he's going to say listen I, I don't know what to do with all this fire locked up in my bones that's why you can give him opening prayer of two minutes and he will turn it into prophecy for one hour it's not that he's bad the fire is too much and you have not told him what to do with it and there is no opportunity to deploy it every time you begin to teach people right and to mentor them there must be in your training the systems of deploying it this is true for ministry but this is also true for government if you keep training young people you are having graduates coming graduates coming and there's no platform to be able to help them let me tell you something somebody is going to come into their life and say listen don't mind this person you can start your own church if god is calling you that's fine but if god is not calling you that that becomes the advice or you can start your own business or you can do whatever it is let me tell you it's a risk to enlighten people and leave them without purpose are we together so i'm praying every day with you i'm fasting every day with you you've now graduated from the school of ministry impartation every service you are falling down and standing up revelation after revelation a day will come knowledge is what will frustrate you not ignorance you will find yourself overdoing things and you'll be angry because the goal is to have expression something within you keeps crying for expression are we together that's the reason why a man who keeps teaching his child say how to drive help them please you are teaching someone how to drive his car you're teaching him how to do something and you leave him there the gentleman can drive and yet there's no car to drive one day what do you think is going to happen talk to me you did it so you know one day when he's not around you say listen uh, this this fire is 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 this this thing i need to drive god never designed people to remain members forever listen listen just listen just listen when i say not to be members listen people don't have to be around you to be with you are we together now that means if god is training you and one day god gives you a job with african union or un you have become an extension of what we represent are, are we together the joy is to see that now the value for you ah i prophesied oh this thing i just said this is a prophetic word in the name of jesus christ please sit down this is the aspect that is missing in church and i say this respectfully speaking there is quality training quality mentorship training but there are no platforms so you find out leaders who should be changing society are dying with church fanatism nothing for them you see people who should change there are people who qualify to be governors leaders but they are not aspiring because they have not been taught that purpose is also spiritual moses 
whereas you should be helping israel joseph you should be bringing solutions to the economic problems of israel whereas you are there quietly with a small life this is what this is why we are not able to translate our christian experience to a context that transforms society it is the reason why when you say you are a christian especially in africa most times they just look at you as if you are just a fanatic with no value to society is someone learning let me tell you this i have said it and i will say it again preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with the anointing preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with revelation if we don't mentor the younger generation properly there will be trouble because when these guys are accessing light it's important for them to know that the seven mountains are also platforms of ministry so that the person who now is routing the part of politics and the one who is staying to become a national prophet they are doing the same thing in the realm of the spirit you cannot say the one who is at the altar is higher than the one who is in government no no without esther the jews would die are we together it took joseph manning the helm of affairs to preserve the purposes of god Africa needs to understand the apostolic structure for kingdom advance. I can tell you we have not yet captured that blueprint holistically. That's why I took the time respectfully speaking to honor his majesty because of these kinds of apostolic understanding. You imagine now respectfully speaking the kind of approach of leadership and governance to his territory. Africa I'm a man of prayer I'm a man of fasting and I'm a man of the word but I'm a man of the whole counsel of God there are many young people right now who are not supposed to be on the pulpit they are being on the pulpit is causing trouble to them and to others they, they are not finding definition but the mentorship structure they have received has said once you are spiritual find a way of coming to stand here and they stand here yet they know joseph the, the, the throne is calling you daniel the place of governance is calling you esther you are fasting but realize that you are being called to the palace there will always be people like anna the prophetess their ministry stops at the temple they never go out of the temple if you take them out of the temple to be involved in secular things you have destroyed them they were called to stay they will stay and wait and jesus will still come to the temple and meet them this has been my concern by the privilege of god's grace i have studied many revivals i have studied a bit of the history of the church in nigeria i can tell you not to this is not the platform to start discussing it but some of the major moves of god in nigeria let me tell you this what killed them was a the emphasis of certain things there were those who came emphasizing the prophetic consecration prayer and then they didn't place emphasis on doctrine there are those who came i don't want to mention names respectfully speaking and the emphasis was just on doctrine and teaching and they de-emphasized the prophetic and prayer and both moves suffered by the time nigeria has only preachers i promise you that we are in trouble we did a bad job if a man of god produces only preachers then we're in trouble because one policy from our parliament can stop the purposes of God. Are we together? I believe in influence. I believe in the whole counsel of God. Men of fire, but people who are sheep among wolves, having the intelligence of the kingdom and even the wisdom of Egypt. Listen, I 
have studied territorial transformation by the grace of God and I can tell you the truth when Jesus walked upon the earth we need to study the ministry of Jesus I can list for you all the people groups that Jesus influenced Jesus did not do crusades alone read your Bible there were times he was with tax he he the same passion he took to preach in one crusade was the same passion he took to go to the house of an influential tax collector what was the result many people were set free because the man was a corrupt man look at jesus one moment he's talking to thousands of people the next moment he's alone with the woman at the well with the same passion the next moment he's investing time casting out one demon because that one man set free was equal to 10 cities hallelujah please look at me i can tell you this and i say it with every sense of humility it is the turn of africa to blaze the fire of revival we have prophesied this and many who have gone before us have said this for many years that there are certain nations that have been uniquely singled out by the election of grace one of them chiefest among them is nigeria now with all due respect and honor to every nation i am telling you this prophetically and that by the spirit however rather than just rejoicing and jumping and saying we are the ones pioneering revival we need to go and study the revivals that have happened and why they died are we together now yes where i come from there is a wise saying that when you see your neighbor's bed on fire don't just watch and laugh look for water quickly because that same fire is coming to you too look for water and start soaking your own beard too Europe has had its chance of revival. The US has had its chance, the word of faith and all these ones. But let me tell you, as we prepare for the return of Christ, whether we like it or not, this mantle for global missions, this mantle has right now is in Africa. It's not a lie. It's not help those under the anointing. It's not a lie respectfully speaking once upon a time now i say this with every sense of respect many nigerians fly out with joy and say they are going for a lecture or conference somewhere but right now the whole nation and the entire globe they continue to come to this candlestick that has now been lit but my listen my 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 charge tonight is a prophetic warning because while we rejoice thinking we are getting it there are things we are missing too we are already beginning to follow the same pattern that aborted the revivals past do you know why rather than staying with the holy spirit to understand the structure and the formation of the move of god in a way that it lasts listen do you know when god comes his emphasis is not to produce preachers alone his emphasis is to produce witnesses and ambassadors please hear me body of christ god is not in the business of raising preachers alone preachers alone will not get the job done they never got the job done in the bible alone read the bible and see all those who walk wealthy people walked those in government walked joseph's walked esther's walked elijah walked you can't teach elijah about finances that's none of his business he's a radical prophet however you can't come and put esther down and joseph down and throw away economics some of you right now about to lose your mantle and your call because you are following a template if i'm spiritual i must be this no no there is a formation and there is a distribution of training patterns we must have the intelligence listen men of god we must be matured enough to know what training pattern 
is allocated for what formation you don't train a theater art student in an anatomy lab it doesn't work that way there are courses called general courses that everybody would do education secular enlightenment gives us that knowledge there are many Josephs who have been trained to become Elijah they are going to fail there are many Esthers who have been trained to become Elijah and there are many Josephs Elijah's who are becoming Esthers there are people who have no business with the palace their assignment is at the altar they should be mastering the art of the key is to recognize your place and appreciate other dimensions are we together for as long as this revival produces only preachers i repeat we are in trouble no the revival must produce men of hunger don't get me wrong the revival must produce men of fire that intrinsically god is not looking for preachers god is looking for witnesses if the geography of your witness is the altar then so be it stay there and fan the flames but don't stop joseph from getting to the palace because you don't need to be there your assignment may not need the palace but if joseph never gets to the palace if esther never sits down with ahasuerus there are jews that will die now please look up can i tell you this whether you are joseph or elijah or daniel or anna the prophetess the word of god prayer the spirit of god these are general causes no matter where you are going to whether you are getting to the palace it will still be by the spirit by the word are we together there are many people claiming they are prayer warriors and the grace that follows a prayer warrior is not there because their assignment is that of a daniel and every time they want to go like daniel they are surrounded by elijah's so they feel guilty for being daniel's and they are giving up the elijah mantle the daniel mantle to remain elijah if you are not elijah leave that place and find where daniel is pray in the spirit for one minute my heart is boiling with a good matter to give us structured intelligence on how to maximize the revival that is upon africa right now because we are making a costly mistake and by love the holy spirit is pointing us and helping us to have understanding hallelujah now watch this by the time we go to hebrews 11 the bible does not dichotomize them when we get to hebrews 11 both the daniels the elijahs the esthers were given one word elders the bible says they obtain all of them the ones who preached the ones who man government for jesus the ones who preserve the economy they said all of them were called elders Na 
Sulanda, 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 Sulan
become a professor don't let anyone tell you you cannot rise because you will need to sit on the board of companies and corporations and stand in for Jesus now hear me please look up please look up sit down sit down if you can goodness do you know why i'm sharing this with you i have been having a lot of prophetic encounters in recent times and i've been picking the burden of the spirit the spirit of god is saying something is wrong we are veering off we are doing it religiously and even with pride but we are veering off if there is no restructuring of the divine pattern why do you think the bible captured all these people if the bible wanted to teach you only one thing one person was enough there are 66 books full of different scenario coordinated together to produce the same thing in our midst here there are judges and justices when we are praying in tongues they pray too in our midst here there are senators honorable members house members when we are praying in tongues they pray too because that is general cause when we are fasting remember there are courses in the university it doesn't matter whether you are studying mathematics medical science architecture when it's time for that course everybody comes that course is prayer that course is fasting that course is doctrine learning the word of god but as far as the jurisdiction of your witness is concerned i repeat if you are mary go and read about mary if you are elijah do you know what mentorship should produce mentorship should help you to start finding a figure in the bible that looks like your future if at the end of training you in church three years five years you have not found your parallel in scripture then you are not mentored properly if the only person you see through your mentorship platform is elijah you did not see well because elijah is not the only one in the bible the assignment of mentorship is to open you up to the various dimensions of the kingdom personified by the individuals written there so that by the guidance of the spirit you will start finding the blueprint that reflects where you are going to look out to abraham your father and to sarah that body i called you and blessed him so if god has told you you are going to become a kingdom billionaire don't feel less relevant just because you may not have the grace to fast for 100 days you are not less spiritual you are the one who will make the prayer warrior remain by supporting him so fire on with your learning of economic principles there is a lot of ignorance mixed with pride in the body of christ we must humble ourselves we are not the first to carry this baton but we must carry it and run with it with honor looking unto jesus not unto ourselves our sufficiency is not of ourselves please hear me koinonia the day i fail to show you this i have failed in my assignment if we assess koinonia right now and the only thing we can say of koinonia is that it is a place of where preachers are trained that may be wonderful if that is my assignment provided i acknowledge that there are other dimensions i don't have then that is fine but where i tell you a preacher is all you need to be i deceived you where i tell you a businessman is all you need to be no that's why i don't run away from politicians no i don't i don't run away from business people you will find me in their midst and i'm talking because the pattern that jesus left us was territorial influence training and representing the purposes of god let me tell you this when you study church history you will read where the church started making a mistake and i will tell you where that came from when emperor nero emperor nero was one of the the vicious emperors that persecuted the church historically speaking right at that time if you were born again you would not even last up to 72 hours so other aspects of the kingdom were not the interests of people it was just to stay martyrdom was all that they looked at 
now when emperor constantine came and the war that was fought with the sign of the cross and he brought victory by reason of the dream and the vision he had he now allowed the worship of god freely the believers who were now saved because all those who mentored them had died they didn't know what to do with their remaining lives now that they were not matired again so he started bringing all kinds of versions of imbalances a few people among them said listen we can't sit here and die like this we have children we have needs and they broke out and when you read the church it was one move every move you call from the protestants the puritans it was a a detection of imbalance in another move let us be careful so that we don't clap for ourselves too early our children will edit our scripts our assignment is not to do everything but our assignment is not to stop what god is doing because of our biases and our prejudices i truly believe with all my heart that god allowed his majesty to come and a judges and people scattered here to be able to teach you something about this message remember what i have said when it is the ministry of prayer if you say you are a businessman you spoke nonsense because a businessman is first a priest before a king are we together when it has to do with the worship of the king all of us bow even nebuchadnezzar was smarter he knew he said when you hear the sound of the trumpet i don't care who you are bow to that image the highest royalty i cast my crown before the highest royalty so there is a meeting point where businessmen apostles prophets teachers are we together professors presidents governments heads of corporations billionaires in all kinds of currency there is a central point of convergence that is before the king when we come before the king you don't come as a professor <clears throat> that's why you take your golden crown your crown your crown defines your jurisdiction of dominion you take it because it does not matter again when you are before the king you cannot be a king mm -mm. are we together so you are a king in the judiciary you are a king in business you are a king even in the practice of priesthood but when we stand before him i don't want to know who you are again there is only one that commands our attention so we cast our crowns before hold on your first assignment is to have a crown your real worship is not your falling down your real worship is that your crown worships first so by the time you stand before him without a crown he says what happened i said you are kings where is the crown for being an influential person in the judiciary there's nothing to cast esther where is your crown the anointing didn't come for you to heal the sick it came to take you to the palace esther you, there is a roll call of worship in heaven i do not see the crown of esther so when we stand to worship him elijah stands with his prophetic crown daniel stands with his governmental crown joseph stands with his economic crown are we together ruth naomi all of them and together we cast our crowns before now you understand the song the highest royalty i am undone before your glorious majesty he's the king of kings and lords of lords you are the king of kings listen you understand the song now when you are getting your crown it is because one day you will cast it before him so when you stand before him you will say i am a professor lord i did well i stood to represent your purposes in the educational sector but i am still a priest 
so as Elijah kneels down the professor kneels too the doctor kneels too I have become a consultant surgeon through my expertise I have set up hospitals today and by the privilege of God's grace I have advanced the purposes of the kingdom oh king here is my report the king bows to the king of kings that's what Daniel saw Daniel did not see weak men read the vision of Daniel Daniel saw kings bowing to the king I look forward to the time in Africa when presidents will take their crown on behalf of their nations and kneel down and say this is to you the king of the ages not from a standpoint of fanatism let me tell you this your worship is not complete if your crown is not on the ground your worship is not complete if you failed in your assignment to discover the place of your crown no if you are a man of God your assignment is to wait upon God in fasting prayer consecration to build the kind of power now God will grant you access to the minds of people and you guide and mentor them when I worship the Lord I cast my crown ministerial crown that is my jurisdiction I cast it with honor if Africa has only business people we're in trouble Joseph alone cannot do the job Daniel alone cannot do the job if there are only Elijah's and Jeremiah's we're in trouble in fact if Jesus does not have a treasurer and finances a man who is only having an assignment for three years yet he had regard for finances please hear me the revival's past failed because the individuals who became the frontliner of that revival they were unilateral in their thinking and they did not capture the other dimensions you will read about the revival's past and you will hear that when other people rose with other dimensions the ones who were currently on fought them because they said i it is only the pattern given to me and it's a mistake that is repeating itself again in africa you see the spirit of the apostolic and the prophetic empowers you to read the writings on the wall so that you can guide god's people holistically when we challenge the body to be united we are not saying we should be uniform no uniformity is not unity unity is a sense of appreciation that esther plus elijah plus jeremiah plus abraham plus moses are we together plus joseph plus mary plus joseph of arimathea in fact plus david it is all of them together that equal Jesus so if your theology says Elijah equal to Jesus it is wrong Elijah equal to a dimension of Jesus you are right if your theology says Joseph equal Jesus you are wrong every one of them were manifesting dimensions that were holistically captured in Jesus you're a man of God here we need to trust God for grace to return back and check our mentorship structure. But I can tell you, the fire of a revival is brewing. I have said this for many years. I have seen it many times in my visions and it is consistent with God's end time prophetic blueprint for the nation. There are many young people who are rising, but the only ones who are celebrating right now are preachers. That means it will make other people who are not in the preaching dimension to feel that they are not part of it now the same way there are young men and women rising apostolically and prophetically in nigeria you will start seeing a parallel in the business line you write it down you will see young men who will arise people who will be summoned by the economic powers of the land to vet them and say by what technology are you accessing the riches of the earth and they will be as spiritual and you are going to see people who will rise up 
supposedly from nowhere are we together now and elections in their various places their various regions what level they will win it with a landslide victory to the point that you will say but it looks like we are rewriting politics because the hand of god is the one behind what we are seeing oh, oh, oh. Oh 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 We're wrapping up. Let me teach you something. When I began my training with God by reason of my background and at that time it was a moment where God was beginning to do great things and to build people. As it is with God when he starts out with people it was just fasting, prayer, consecration, the word, are we together? Visions of revival. But when I had the vision that represented my mandate, it confused me for many years. Because in that vision, I saw a generation of people. I've shared it with you many times. You've heard it. That it was a generation of people and they were crying. And in that vision, I came, I was upstairs, a building, hiding from people who were maybe wanted to injure me or something like that. And when I looked at the people, those in front were zoomed to me. And they said, I asked them what is wrong. And I remember them saying, no food and no water. And I said, ah, ah, no food and no water. How does that relate to spirituality? And then I said, who is the cause? And they pointed to me. I said, me, I can't be that wicked to do this to you. And then I said, okay, I'm coming to help you. Where would I get the food and water? I opened that door and it was not a chef I saw. When I opened that door to go out, I said, if I perish, I perish. I saw an old, bearded, gray-headed man. Now I know he's the Holy Spirit. And he held my tiny hands to go and serve food and water. Do you need a chef or you need an old man? hear me there are some of you today by reason of this teaching if you want to be effective go back to school while we are praying be praying too but go back and get your PhD and your professorship because your assignment it may not be for everybody but for you there is a place you have left where destiny has been crying who should occupy this position you are here joining us in prayer we don't need to have a phd we don't need to be professors we have found solace in priesthood but will be wicked to tell you don't do yours esther don't look for a man of god alone look for Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins he is the authorized mentor to train you if he's a hazardous that you want to sit near it will take more than Mordecai is there as a man of God but in addition to Mordecai look for Haggai he's the one who trains the keepers the women who are with the king no matter how Mordecai loves you he cannot give you the training of royalty because Mordecai sits at the gate he's an intercessor he's the one who will caution you but he's not the one who will make you queen Ruth, if you want to leave your assignment, obtain grace from God and don't run away from Naomi when you see her. Because if you run away from Naomi looking for Elijah, you will never see Boaz. The things that are written are for time. They are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope. Elijah, if you know you are called to be a prophet you better look for elijah 
even when Daniel calls you, don't go. Your destiny is with Elijah. Don't make the mistake of leaving Elijah to be trained by Daniel. Daniel cannot make Elijah to carry the double portion of Elijah's mantle. Is someone learning? Dear businessman, do not think less of your passion to have financial resources for kingdom advance. Provided your heart is right and it's not a search for mundane carnal acquisition of things. But hear me. I give you a precaution and I give you a warning. Every time the king calls, whether you are Elijah, whether you are Daniel, whether you are Anna the prophetess, the position is to take off your crown from everywhere. Whether you are in government house, in the research institute, you are here standing like me preaching, or you are someone leading a leadership institute, you are a justice, or you are whoever. The moment there is the clarion call of the king together. They teach us in social studies, um, government, nationalism, and all kinds of courses, that anywhere you are, when you hear the national anthem of your nation, what did they teach that you do? That you stand where you are. Because the moment the national anthem comes, you are no longer a professor. You are no longer a banker. You are no longer a doctor. You are the citizen of that nation. When you see an American person or a British, I can't remember which of the nation we traveled to, and I was on my way returning. I think that was last year. And then I noticed everybody was standing at the airport. I said, what's happening? They said, they're about to sing the national anthem. I said, oh, wow. I'm not a nationality of that nation, but I had to stand to respect their honor. So when the master says, believe us, fast, he didn't tell men of God. He told all of us. When he says, believe us, seek my face, he's not speaking to a man of God. Are we together? One thing that happened to everybody was that it was their relationship with God that caused them to excel. Ruth, if you leave God, Boaz will look at you like a village girl who needs help and never be able to marry you. Elijah, if you leave God, you will be one of those prophets. Maybe a false one. Joseph, if you leave God, you will remain in prison there. Even if you come out of prison, you will go back home not the throne the factor that does not change is Jesus Christ and his purposes this is sound doctrine this is discipleship that turns members to ambassadors let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen God is tired of church members I don't say that to mean membership is wrong you understand the context God is tired of membership who are like sheep respectfully speaking without direction and anything the ma there are many believers who are confused in their spiritual adventure the reason why many people are living the faith life is because there is no excitement and purpose connected to it now when you come for koinonia every week as i am teaching you there is purpose connected to what i'm telling you when i teach you on finances i will teach with the same passion as when I'm teaching on fasting and prayer because in my economy there is no difference provided it is a tool that reveals Jesus I will teach it with the same passion there are some of you here when we are talking of prayer and fasting you listen when we are talking of revival you are happy but when we are talking of influence principles of territorial you know kingdom advancement you just shut down and say Kai this is not what I want to hear it's a mistake it's a mistake you must embrace the whole counsel of God. There is the area of emphasis. Forever, I'm a man of God. That is my assignment. If you see me talk among business people, it's an elective. If you see me talk among politicians and the rest, my core assignment is here. Ah, and I'll be a true soldier. I'll do as it beats me, whatever the cost. 
I'll be a true soldier. I'll die at my post. We spend ourselves and wear ourselves because we have come to find out that he is more than life. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, 6, 6.30, I'm out of this city again. Preaching for Baba Wale Oke in Ibadan. By night, I'm on my way to Lagos, returning back, then Cote d'Ivoire. Why am I doing this? It's more than fame. If it's fame, writing a book is cheaper than stretching yourself. Please look at me. I want you to look up to us as we follow Jesus sincerely. But as you look up to us, you better be honest to find out whether if you are Esther, thank God for Mordecai, but please find Haggai. If you are Elisha, even if you find Moses, look for Elijah. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Yes. There are business people who are being mentored by prophets. You will be a prayer warrior, not an economic giant. Respect the prayer warrior, but find a sound financial mentor with a kingdom dimension who will teach you the economic system of the cosmos while you honor the prophet you are truly trained by the one who helps you become are we together there are people here by reason of your assignment god is subjecting you to high level influence and exposure i'm not teaching you dishonor the truth is that sometimes we men of god by reason of our assignment god may not have to expose us that much but your own assignment requires that you understand the ethics of royalty you understand the ethics of culture and how to navigate yourself if you are mentored only by the man of god teaching you on stage you will fail when you stand before kings in addition to what mordecai does it is Haggai who will teach you what the king wants and Haggai said let me teach you something he told her something Mordecai never told her. He said, when it has to do with Ahasuerus, I have walked with him. I know what he wants. Take this oil. Let me teach you what the king wants. Rub this oil for one year. When Daniel went to Babylon, it was not Bible study they were teaching them there. They taught them the way of the Babylonians. Is it in your Bible? The anointing he had from priesthood empowered him to be ten times better. But what exalted him was his ability to solve real life problems this is what the spirit of god has been telling me i have a responsibility to contribute my own quota with love no sense of self-righteousness or justification to charge the body of christ pastors men of god we need to trust god for grace to unashamedly begin to embrace an authentic apostolic and prophetic structure that will host the revival coming and to preserve it for generations unborn may god forbid that if christ tarries and we no longer are here somebody will be teaching one day and say see where apostle got it wrong he taught you to just pray and fast but he taught you to reject influence so esther did not go to the palace and her man's plot found its way it is amazing that when God wanted to deal with Haman, it was not Haggai he called. He called Esther. There are many dimensions of the victory of Christ that is not men of God who will produce. There is a dimension of wickedness. Look up please. As anointed as we are, men of God, has this solved Boko Haram problem? Please talk to me. Are we not praying? Are we not fasting? Has it solved the problem of terrorists and bandits and the rest? We continue to pray. But it will take more than that. That should be a lesson to us. As far as prayer is concerned, as far as fasting is concerned, as far as communicating sound doctrine is concerned. But when we have a judge who is anointed, are we together? 
by the time there is a case somewhere and there is a threat against the program of God because that person has had the legal qualification plus the anointing that has come from the man of God now you can defend not only the purposes of 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 Christians but the purposes of of a civil life a life of excellence and dignity a man of God can be anointed to go for a crusade but one airline that will face financial bankruptcy can stop the person. That's it. A man of God can be anointed to go somewhere. But a poor image of a nation can make the person to be thrown back from that nation, return back to your country. We need to understand the holistic implication of this. You can be anointed without a passport and a visa. You will not travel to go and preach anywhere. And if the person... Who is responsible for the passport and the visa is under the influence of a demon spirit your ministry will die a natural death are we together no matter how anointed you are as a man of God is it not the givings of God's people that will help you build the house for God if the people are not empowered and then you now ask them to give is fraud hallelujah We're going to pray. Worshippers, arise. Businessmen, arise. Apostles, arise. Prophets, arise. Captains of industry, arise. Territorial mentors, capacity builders, arise royalties arise footballers arise athletes arise music ministers arise doctors arise for god's sake tech giants arise manufacturers arise producers beyond oil arise that is the name and that is the formation of the army that will return christ when it is time to fast everyone fast like you are a man of god when it is time to pray pray like the only thing in your destiny is the prophetic but when it's time to go through that distribution the geography of your witness take back your crown put it on your head and stand like the champion that you are we will not call you a prayer warrior when we see you on TV we will call you the consultant surgeon the one recognized by United Nations but when you come to my office and I meet you after we talk about UN, we talk about Jesus. And then we pray. And I will impart more grace upon you. And you will return back, not as a religious fanatic, with a greater sense of intelligence. This is the vision, even behind the school of ministry. The school of ministry does not raise men of God alone. The school of ministry will raise men that will be used by God. In every strata of human activities I made up my mind that as far as I'm concerned I will never raise a people by the grace of God who are only spiritually vibrant when you see me in the midst of politicians know that it is ministry I'm doing there and I don't have to be mentioning Jesus I can help and will talk and say okay why don't we do this this way this way if I am confused, I know what to do. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. We have an advantage. Are we together? If you have headache, pray and fast. If it remains, go and look for a doctor. Doctor, you are anointed. Don't die the death of a fool because of pride. Meet a doctor who will just give you a prescription. 
when you are healthy you can now keep serving god while you are growing there are many people who are so fanatical about their positions a simple drug that would have solved their problem they would rather stay and say no i know i am this the word is working for me i'm not a fan at listen listen let me tell you i believe in the power of god's word you know it with all my trips and schedules if i'm lying about this thing you will know believe me i say it without pride there are many people if you do one tenth of what i'm doing you collapse in one week i leave this place now maybe around one two and by 5 30 i'm on my way to the airport preaching two sessions for Baba Wale, okay, I return back, have a meeting, and the next thing, I'm in Abidjan preaching every day until Saturday. And we're already preparing for all of this. There are things you cannot fake. If it's not at work in you, it will show. Yes. However, however, I am not stupid. There are doctors here who have given me intelligent medical recommendations, and I embraced it with wisdom. Are we together? Guide me on the kind of food to eat, there are some of you by this service from here go to a chemist before you go home because you are not feeling fine don't die the death of a fool i'm sorry i'm talking this this is I, I hope i'm not forgive me eh? please there are some of you here the only thing in your world is money repent come and meet us let us balance the other side because this your pursuing money is leading you to trouble you need to come and even take a maybe a three weeks break no talk of money so that you fan your flames again that's why god kept us here but there are some of you god brought you to stay one month and be on fire and then go back and continue but you have built a camp here you are not elijah go back Are we together? Kingdom financiers, we will need you when all the projects begin. So while we pray for you, keep learning the wisdom of Egypt. And when God empowers you, don't use the gold in Egypt to build an idol in the wilderness. Keep it. It is for the tabernacle, not for the idol. Joseph, even though Pharaoh will promote you, you will marry the daughter of, per, of Potiphera, the priest of On. They will change your name. Do not forget that even though you are carrying an Egyptian name, you are a covenant child. Never forget. Daniel, you will sit in the midst of a parliament where almost nobody loves the Lord. Never forget that it was your prayer that preserved you so while you provide national solutions every time you stop and you're hooked somewhere look beyond the intellectual realm go back the secret is still being revealed the holy spirit is still alive hallelujah worship us please keep writing the songs because there are still more abides who will try to walk against judah and there are times our swords will not be able to fight make sure when we need to win by worship the songs should be ready are we together joseph of arimathea keep doing your real estate that grave you bought will preserve something one day the man who owns a donkey that you have not been told to ride don't feel bad it is jesus who will ride on the donkey so take care of the donkey like Mary took care of Jesus. Go to the street that divides and you will see a colt that no man has ridden on. Lose it. And if they ask you, say the master has need of it. There are people who will set up billion businesses and yet one naira from it will not be for them. That is a colt that you yourself, the owner, is not allowed to enjoy. Because every time the master asks for it, there is a crusade that needs 10 million. Instead of fasting and praying for money, you fast and pray and say, Lord, bring people. Because one kingdom financier says, consider it done. 
this talk of money that has mad the integrity of the church we have to kick that thing out there are intelligent people who are accessing the wisdom of the spirit plus the anointing that comes from the holy spirit through priesthood can have what it takes to command the wealth of nations believe me i it is an insult to redemption to call for a prayer and fasting for weeks and the only thing is oh god visit us we need financial resources now there are better things when you fast and pray for a soul there are many things we are fasting and praying for that is unnecessary money can solve it you know i'm not lying oh god this rent and god says my dear daughter remember you rolled on the ground and told me i can use you there is a man of god somewhere who is about to lose the faith for the sake of the one thousand people there go and build him a house by the time you go there and say sir here is a key the key to this house the lord asked me to build it the question is among two of you who is a witness both of you if we say clap for who is walking most people will clap for the man of god and forget that the man of god would have plunged to depression and died and 1000 members would have gotten into i was going to travel to kenya and my passport was in another embassy i was almost going to miss that conference can you imagine hallelujah and thank god for people here one to one to contacting people at the highest level and they pulled out my passport and i was able to get there that nation was blessed not because a man was anointed alone but somebody else was doing his job somewhere too are we together i may be as anointed as you say and consider but i'm not the, the pilot who flies myself tomorrow by the grace of God, people will be blessed and healed and delivered all through this week. But how about the pilot who flies the plane? How about the person who cooks to eat? If you hear that I died for hunger, is that, is that a wise reason to die? I wasn't matiah though, just hunger. Are we together? We're, we're about to pray. What of the cloth I'm wearing? As anointed as I am, you bring me a needle and thread, or you bring a what they call that thing, the sewing machine. I will stand and look at it like they, they looked at the writing on the wall. Now, as I'm speaking to you right now, there are professional kingdom minded tailors around this nation and around the world sewing my clothes so that I will look smart. Make no mistake to think they are not in ministry. Are we together as we are here right now there are security people everywhere making sure there is maximum security within this location all kinds of an intelligent you know sometimes when i see the security architecture that they design i'm very very humbled at the intelligence at the highest level the purpose of the training you are receiving here is because the gates of your assignment as far as its contribution to kingdom come is concerned is crying out for you for some of you you have remained in the temple for long the temple can become an idol more than the temple what you need is Jesus if your assignment is to go out there David if you are praying when Goliath is roaring Israel will die pray when you finish carry your weapons of war your destiny is to be a warrior that will later become a king Anna the prophetess if you leave the temple because you think you need money and you go and start being mentored by Joseph of Arimathea Jesus will not be able to come because the, your, the intercessory ministry will be corrupted by this teaching tonight I brought three things to you number one that there needs to be a rearrangement of our understanding as far as God's prophetic program and the revival coming is concerned that it is not only the spiritual aspect or the aspect of we men of God that is needed in this revival 
and that we men of God alongside the entire body must embrace the diversity of the operation of the spirit that will synergize itself together to capture the move of God we will need money we will need people of influence to defend our interest we will need military people to protect us while we take the risk with our lives we will need those who feed us those who dress us we will need those who protect the policies that keep the purposes of God then we will need those on fire who will walk in signs and wonders lifting people from wheelchairs and crutches we will need people who teach a mentor and guide people we will need evangelists who will preach like never before that holistic description is the army God is looking for. Please rise up on your feet. God is raising mighty men in this place. God is raising people of power in this place. God is raising men of fire in this place. And he won't stop. He won't stop. Till his church looks like him He won't stop No, he won't stop Till my life looks like him God is raising Man of power in this place God is raising Man of influence in this place God is raising Signs and wonders in this place he won't stop, he won't stop Till we look just like him He won't stop, no he won't stop Till we look just like him Two prayer points for this service and we're done Prayer point number one Father, show me from scripture An individual whose destiny represents where you are taking me to Go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Find yourself in the scripture. The Bible says he found where it was written concerning him. Please pray and obtain grace from God. Reveal to me by the power of your word where it has been written concerning me that lo, I come in the volume of the book. Elijah, find yourself in scripture. Sarah, find yourself in scripture. Joseph, find yourself in scripture. Paul, the writer of two-thirds of the New Testament, find yourself in scripture. Peter, the chiefest of the apostles, find yourself in scripture. Agabus, find yourself in scripture. Abraham, find yourself in scripture. There is nothing God wants you to become that you will not find a parallel of it in scripture. You will not go wrong when the word of God is guiding you please pray reveal the blueprint of my destiny by your word my contribution to this revival that Africa and even Nigeria is privileged to host in the name of Jesus final prayer point father grant me the grace to honor and to appreciate the diversities of assignments within the body of christ go ahead and pray the grace man of god don't look down on business people business people don't look down on preachers entrepreneurs don't look down on leaders all together we represent parts and pieces of that glorious army wealthy people don't look down on intercessors and they who are pegged at the altar carrying the burden of nations and praying for them father grant me the grace to stay in my place of assignment but to have that understanding and that appreciation for the diverse provisions that are resident within the body in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the time has come 
by the privilege of God's grace where an anointed man of God can stand here a businessman can stand here a politician kingdom minded politician can stand here royalty like his majesty can stand here a justice head of a, a you know the judiciary can stand here and all of us together can hold hands and believe we are doing the same thing for as long as preachers keep being exalted more than other people the people will leave their assignments to be preachers so that they can get the clap too when you clap for joshua selman clap for the kingdom minded justice clap for the businessman who in spite of the financial storm is still becoming a billionaire because the resources is what will keep joshua selman focused also clap for mama who is not educated but is raising five godly daughters are we together now oh yes don't clap for joshua selman and don't clap for mama those five daughters are the ones in the welfare department of his church and they are not stealing because mama trained them well the gentlemen who walk morning to night there was a father somewhere who did not pray in tongues but was sincere enough to raise them as responsible people threw away carelessness from their life now today they are the ones who are your heads of department and pastors don't clap and take glory for yourself let baba receive the share of his glory for disciplining and training those children can i tell you many people have taken away headache from us as men of god because they helped us now you don't have to suspect people and say you're a treasurer do you steal or you don't steal because somebody has trained them for you if you clap for joshua selman alone and demean and downplay other people simply because of the charismatism of ministry i'm not saying should not honor priesthood has its dimension of honor and i understand and whenever you do it and people do it across the globe i receive it with every sense of honor but i'm telling you this when i see people who have dimensions i do not have for instance when i meet with businessmen most times as they are greeting me ah my apostle i'm greeting them too god bless you sir and if i have the privilege of learning anything quickly i will not learn as apostle i will learn as a student by a king in an industry are we together when i have the opportunity to see an elderly person and i will greet her mama how are you oh man of god no mommy i'm a man of god but i'm your son too and she says really where i stop may you continue it's not a preacher that speaks that kind of blessing for you mm -mm. now you understand why we honor people in this house including our children you see those little children come and run we don't know you don't know how many trees can come out of a fruit you can guess how many fruits can come out from a tree these children you see as small as they are for some of them as soon as we share the grace that's when koinonia starts for them that jumping you see it is better for them to jump in the house of god some of you at their age you were still idol worshippers i'm not being sarcastic for these people to be praying in tongues while you are praying in tongues too what do you think they will become when they are your age the next time you see a little child or a little baby don't push them trying to see apostle we are both apostles it's only that one is manifesting earlier while the other is using my life to correct and work with greater accuracy are we together there are many people here who are younger ministers some of them come to me and you see me greet them and hug them some of them come and they want to lie down i said don't do that you can respect me but don't do that don't if there is anything we have is the privilege to have seen higher you may still be in your formative stage but we will pat you at the back when you make mistakes as much as god has shown us we will correct you but we will help you because the little boy you see in a manger 
is the one who will save the earth after 30 years is someone learning you need to go back after this service madam go and meet your husband and say thank you I thought you were a stupid man but now I know you're a man of God too forgive me for that ignorance there are some of you who will never cook a nice meal respectfully speaking for your husband but if you hear that I'm coming to your house you will even kill a cow for only me to eat it no, it's not necessary it's not necessary that man God gave you is the one who gave the house that we can even come with honor parents don't look at this your children and while you are talking with Joshua Selman on phone and saying yes sir those little children they are the ones who will protect you in old age little children don't misbehave because you are learning nonsense from the internet are we together yes there are people at 11 they were already responsible on their own so please parents haven't encouraged you don't over pamper your children until they become a disaster to society if that stubborn child becomes a choir director he will do everything he did to his siblings in the choir you will add headache to the church politicians we love you we keep praying that you love this country above corruption and love this country above sentiment we will keep praying where God grants us the grace we will talk to you and to those of you who have brought yourselves under our leadership we will be will not be afraid to draw your ears in love and say do it this way but the body of Christ in Nigeria the body of Christ in Africa I have good news for you we will win it's been written forget what is happening in the church one problem here what forget it I am telling you it has been written this revival you see will not be aborted in the name of Jesus we will not win because we are sufficient we will win because the captain has risen and has stood before us and as we follow him even as we blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm upon his holy mountain we will see the move of the spirit in Africa like never before in the name of Jesus father tonight we have heard your word you have charged our hearts and helped us to see the value of submitting ourselves to the word to growth to the house of God to methodical and structural mentorship Lord I thank you for the blessings of these precious people you have given me in this place and global thank you for the gift of the body of Christ thank you for all other men of God you have planted in this nation that continue to help us to see where we don't see clearly thank you for the diversities of the gifts thank you for the businessmen thank you for the politicians thank you for the judges thank you for the members of parliament thank you for the royalties thank you for the entrepreneurs thank you for the parents thank you for our force father we pray that you give us as a nation as regions as individuals a healthy orientation and an appreciation for the diversity of what you are doing in this body but lord we declare for revival we declare maranatha let it come for signs and wonders we declare let it come for breakthroughs and lifting we declare let it come for good and righteous governance we declare let it come for prosperity and increase we declare let it come for an end to terrorism occultism and oppression we declare maranatha and father we pray that when you are assessing africa and nigeria let it be by the privilege of god's grace that we did not miss out as we return oh god i pray that will return with stronger convictions making quality decisions that will help to reveal and glorify jesus for in the mighty and matchless name of jesus we pray